as much as I can on all these issues so I could like actually contribute besides the little right. that I'm doing, you know, here or there. I didn't even have a laptop at the time. I wrote my personal statement on my phone. Like I was just like, I'm leaving. And I, and I start, and it was August when I decided. So it was late and my parents right. were like, who are you going to go to? Like, it's August. Like, it's so late. Like, why don't you just wait for the next round of school? And I was like, no, there's programs that start in January. I'm going now. Right. And that's how I ended up at Rutgers. And then a long journey to law school from there. Right. Which is, <laughs> uh, it's amazing though. It's like your, your willingness to want to seek information is what caused you to do all these steps, right? Yeah. And seeing the different things that you need to, to grow into and now it's like okay. you're not reaching a big goal that your parents probably told you about that you never took seriously until you now you're there i'm not doing that <laughs> right and now i'm like oh look at me doing that so. no absolutely so i know i've asked you a lot of questions do you have yeah. any questions for me i do like i just want to know like how do you come up with your story ideas like you like you're an, like you're like a real author like i feel like i don't <laughs> freelance here and there but i'm just kind of like an academic but like you're like an actual writer like how do you come with ideas i think it starts the way you started just daydreaming like i think it's just not <laughs> losing that part of you right and not letting society pressure make you feel like you can't take a moment to daydream so a lot of my things i feel like i like download from like from from spirit from god so it's like when i meditate i might get like a little title and then from there i'll start working on the beginning of understanding what i want my beginning to be and the end and then the journey is just trying to find my way through that maze of, of the middle to make yeah. what i think the beginning of the story should be and what the ending i want so it's kind of just just reminding yourself that you was a kid before and you can always tap back into it because i write a lot of young adult kind of yeah. simple stories i don't try to overwrite things to make me feel like I want everyone to feel like they can read my book. I don't want no one to feel like they can't listen or read it, so. Honestly, the young adult section of books is the elite section of all of the books that I think yeah. personally. So even it now, I would still read a young adult book. No, same, young adult, coming of age. It's just something about those stories that makes you feel like I was there before or now these lessons now make sense even more now. Exactly. I love those type of books. So, so like my favorite book in high school was like Tuesday with Maury. That's one of the books that made me think, oh wow, storytelling is pretty cool. Wow. What's your process like? Like how long does it take you to write a book? I'm getting faster, but like I think my very first book, it probably took me about a year and a half just because I didn't know the process at all or even exactly. like the, the key thing to writing is just sitting your butt down for two <laughs> hours a day and actually typing away. Typing away. And whatever's junk, get rid of it if you want to or just make it better every day you sit down to work on that particular story. That makes sense. Do you, do you like ever feel like, how do I cut it down? Or is it like you get to like just enough? No, because I purposely try not to overwrite. I try not to write more than 50,000 words in any book just because I feel like that's a lot. Okay. So like some of my books is, is, is meant to be 30,000 words because I want you to get in and get out. Life is, you got a lot of things, a lot of distractions for life. I'm not trying to distract you forever. I just want you to have a good story with some good moral compass in it. And then from there, you yeah. do what you please. So that's my that's my goal. But I think that hurts when you're not trying to be independent. If you're trying to get a book deal, they want 85,000 words, they want 100,000 words. But a lot of those books, they're repeating themselves in those YA <laughs> books. They're not writing anything new. Because some of them, you could be like, you could have stopped three chapters ago. Right. Don't tell me what happened. But I was still read it because I don't <laughs> like I right. don't know that. <laughs> Uh, that's so dope. I didn't even know. Like, I was like, how do you, like, and I hope that answers your question because I'm sure it's much more, but I think since I do it so much, I'm probably <laughs> missing certain details that are very important. Like, I don't know. In my mind, I feel like you're sitting there with, like, I know there's no typewriters now. But in my mind, I just see people no, like, yeah. writer and like all these pages surrounding them, and they're like, oh, I don't know, like, what to do. Or well, like, for a crime series, is I don't know nothing about law and stuff. I did some <laughs> research for like those books that are coming out. Uh -huh. So it's like research outlines are like critical. Just prepping before you actually write your first word is very critical. But knowing your beginning and your end is even the most important because then you can find your way through the maze of like the middle of like the high and low points of the story. 
Yeah, that's so true. I know, like, I suck at, like, making an outline. I know I'm in law school. I'm supposed to be, oh, you're so good at outline. No, like, I, I'm i horrible. Like, I just start writing stuff, and then I was like, oh, I need a point. Or, like, I need to, like, figure out where I'm going before I finish this. So, like, wow. I think like, in the beginning, I could just freelance write because I, I felt like I just had a few stories in me already. But now that I'm... Okay. I've already have seven books out and I was like, all right, now I need to start doing top um, outline. Yeah. <laughs> my brain can't hold every every last character that I ever thought about in my life. So it's like now I gotta start definitely doing outline. And that's making the process faster because now I have more direction of where to go. I'm not just going off of feelings and emotions of what I think my characters will do. Although I still try to keep that. Yeah. I feel like it's more structured to move faster. Oh, and how not like do you sit with your characters like all day, like in your mind, like do you know what they sound like? I always wonder because I know, like, when I read a book, like in my head, they sound a certain way or they talk a certain. Like, do you think of that too? Like, I know you write it out, so like, yeah, but like when you're watching, no, people, like, yeah, I do because a lot of my um, writing is like also dialogue based too. So I don't just write it to be colorful. I write more. I guess I write like a man, like <laughs> straight to the point. Yeah, very, as much detail as needed because I still want you to have an imagination. I don't want to. Yeah. You not to have your own vision of what they could be. Exactly. While, while telling you what the characters are going through. Yeah. That makes sense. So 